everybody knows they are workers. Everybody is amazed that they play so well. Because in Italy, or, uh, yeah, I think all over the place in Italy, the idea of playing band is something that you do once or twice a week. Of course, you never practice because you are a clarinet player, a band player, so you don't practice. It's like playing, playing cards in a, in a, in a, in a, uh, in a wine uh, shop, you see. And I would like them to take it more seriously, this thing. And the example of Grimethorpe, I hope, will give them some brainstorms eventually. And they'll say, why can't we play so well? <laughs> One of the things I tried to do when I went there was not only to uh, build up the repertoire, but to try and broaden the whole scope of the potential of a band. And it seemed to me daft that we got these fantastic traditions, mostly in the north, but not entirely, mostly in the north, um, of these bands, and that nobody else anywhere in the world knew about them. And uh, I talked to everywhere I go, I go to Scandinavia a lot, and I go to Europe a lot, and I've got a lot of connections in America as well. Everywhere I go, I talk to them about the band, and if they're interested, I play them a record, or I send them one. And without fail, they are always bowled over, because they can't believe that, A, that it's amateur, that is uh, incomprehensible to anybody in Europe, that there is a standard of amateur music making as high as that, uh, they find difficult to appreciate, and that they are coal miners is um, incredible. <laughs> 